Hey, I'm Katie and this is Katie Play Stuff, where I play stuff for you. And today, we are back in Alan Wake 2. You guys, the last part of this game was my favorite thing I've ever done in a video game ever. It was incredible. It was so much fun. Um, so in the last part, if you didn't see that, you need to go and watch it. It was a full-on musical, basically, okay? There was Alan Wake 2 the musical. There was singing. There was choreography. There, it, it was incredible. And I, I just want to relive it over and over again. I've listened to that song in my car probably a hundred times, and it's really embarrassing. But, uh, but yeah. <laughs> I'm very excited to get into this next part of the game because we're going to be playing as Alan for a little bit. Um, I did write a list somewhere. I don't know what happened to it, but I wrote a list of the order that uh, people say that you should play the game. So like which chapters to go to between Saga and Alan's. And I feel like I think the next two chapters are supposed to be Alan. I might be wrong. Um, so I think I'm going to do two chapters with Alan and then we're going to go back to Saga because somebody in the comments told me that Saga's next part is apparently pretty crazy. Um, so I feel like that should be good for us. But yeah, let's get started. All right, we're back. And uh, I kind of forgot how to play as Alan. And I know that we literally just played as him in the last part, but I mean, the fact that him and Saga have two separate sets of weapons, I keep forgetting like who is the shotgun, who doesn't. So we got this little, what is that, a revolver. We got some flares, we got grenades. Uh, we also got a med kit, which is great. Oh, we got a flare gun. That was a really cool addition in the last part. Yeah. Let's go see if we can talk to Ati real quick because we just passed by him. He's got nothing to say. Is he mopping the carpet? <laughs> Whatever. All right, let's go. Herald of Darkness. I'm not going to sing for you guys. I really wish that I could have danced that dance for you. If I ever get like a green screen set up, and this could be so far into the future, but if I ever get a green screen set up, I'm gonna put myself in that part of the game and I'm doing that dance. So hold me to it, guys. Also, it we're, was all about me. we're outside now. This performance the dark place was putting on, but I had no control over it. I knew how utterly lost I was. I think the phone's ringing, guys. Where's that phone? The payphone was ringing again. Oh, right here. The mystery caller was back at it. I had to find out more. All right, who do we think this caller is? It has to be Scratch, right? At first, I thought... Actually, I don't remember what I thought. It was so long ago. I feel like I thought it was, like, Detective Breaker or somebody, but, uh, I think it's Scratch. Alan Wake? Do you know who I am? How the fuck could I? Whoa! There's that famous temper. Lucky thing I'm not a paparazzi. You keep jerking me around, refusing to tell me who you are. You remember? You... Oh, fuck me. Alan, 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 listen, listen. Uh, tell me, how much do you remember? Did you visit Parliament Tower? Did you find anything there? Yeah. Alice is in danger. Scratch is reaching out to her, and there, there's another manuscript. Not initiation, return. I saw the title page. I, I don't remember writing it. Return? Oh man, this is what we're after. The Scratch can't have it. Our, our survival, the survival of the fucking cosmic everything depends on this. Come to me. Ocean View Hotel. I left my room key for you. It's right there on the payphone. Remember. The dark place works in loops and rituals. If the waves keep pushing you away, you just need to find another way in. We go with the flow of this ocean. Catch you soon, brother. Brother. See, that makes me think it's Scratch. Okay, the he- The Ocean View Hotel. He wants me to a meet him. A suspicious invitation to a shady meeting. Right on the money for the hard-boiled genre the whole city was built upon. 
ocean view. It's right there in front of us. Yeah, it makes me think it's Scratch. So it's not Alan's voice, which I would think it would be Alan's voice if it was Scratch because he's a doppelganger. But I think it's Scratch. Also, he seemed kind of nice, though, on the phone. So maybe it's not? I don't know. It's a mystery to me. But, uh... I am excited to be back here because I feel like there is some stuff that I missed. So this circle here that I know I could not find. Um, up here. Actually, so I guess there really is just that one little circled area that I didn't find and this, this box, I guess. So I don't really think we need to do all that go all the way back over here. It says there's a point of interest. I mean, I could run over and just skip this part just so we can see what it is. I mean, the better the better. What the fuck am I trying to say? <laughs> the more stuff that I find in this game, the better because it helps me. It's just more stash items. It's more whatever. Yeah, let's fill that baby up. Um, more stash items more words of power, you know. So I should find everything that I can, but for some reason I feel like I couldn't figure out what the fuck to do up here. Also, we haven't seen Breaker in a long time, now that I think about it. Okay. I don't want to fight these guys, but... Alright, so it says... How do I get over there? Possibly this way? Ooh! Go, go, go. Okay. Alright. It's out here. Somewhere. Is it down there? Wait, is this it? Oh, I found it! Okay, this is not where I thought it was gonna be. Okay. Oh, excuse me! Okay, we're gonna be doing a lot of dodging. Um, alright, so. I got that. Now it says- what is this thing? Container, okay. There's a point of interest. I need to go... How the hell do I get to this little stairwell here? Unless I need to go up and around somehow. Ugh. No. This definitely is not. Is it? <laughs> this map is so confusing. Hi. How have you been? You got nothing new to say? Alright, so. Says we got a point of interest in this room. And then apparently, right next door, there's a circled area. Okay, what's what's the point of interest, bud? Oh, it's gotta be something on here that I just didn't read. Okay, I've looked at everything. Still there. I don't know. I don't know? It is a mystery. I think whatever I'm looking for must be down there. But oh, is this it? I was under attack from a shot. Ah! I don't really want to be doing this right now. Hold on. No, nope, I'm still not in the right area. Guys, I don't care anymore. I don't fucking care. I don't know why I can't find it. Bro. It almost makes me want to, like, reload the old save. Because what did I actually do? Oh, wait, I found a stash thing. Okay. I guess that was worth it. Alright. So we're going to the Ocean View Hotel. I don't care about anything else. 
I'm finished playing these games. Even though I'm playing a game right now. I'm finished. So, let's grab my light real quick. And let's go. Ooh, it says the cult up on the wall. Alright, where's... There's the hotel right here. Wake. The Ocean View Hotel. My destination. Okay. So I'm gonna bust through it like that. Um, let's check it out. A loop that delivered me back to the street. What? What did the mystery caller said? If the waves keep pushing you away, you just need to find another way in. With only dream logic to lead me to the hotel. There's an arrow. I look to the neon signs for guidance. Yeah, okay. Oh, what's that say? Mirror Peak Bar? Clearly, that's where I'm supposed to go. Also, what is this? A dark presence is out there. The story I was building was fragile, constantly under attack. There was no time to waste. The Dark Presence was only a step behind me. His brain sounds fucking fragile, man. He like, sounds like he's going crazy. It's like heavy breathing in there, like, hey, we gotta figure out what to do. I gotta find a way. It's like, all right, relax. Okay, I guess we're going to the bar. Initiation. Probably that way. Oh, I've been here before. I was just gonna look around, but we've definitely been here before. This is where we have to go? Another cutscene. Casey! You're the killer, the cult leader. It's in your eyes. No! You've got the wrong man! It's Scratch! There's no time to lose! You're going nowhere. You just shoot me? Where did you get shot? Ooh. What the hell? I was dead tired. I just wanted it to be over. It was all my fault. I'd had this dark place in my head for so long. Sometimes I'd forget the pain was there. Like it was the way you were supposed to feel. I was not in a dark place. I was the dark place. The source of it all. The vessel. Me and the writer. We were the same. Hmm. 
this place kept pushing me under, getting into my head, poisoning me with darkness. I had to find a way to escape before it was too late. Too late again. Room 665. Okay. Uh, yeah, I feel like we already went through this before. In this exact same alley, Alan Casey died. But he died, like, over here. So, now I'm a little confused as to why we're the one that killed him. Uh, oh, this way. Yeah, I've already been here before. We've already gone down this little alleyway before. Uh, if you remember from a previous episode, so we're gonna go straight in here. Huh? This doesn't... this is like... a labyrinth. the hell? Don't write, it says. Okay. Stole that light, too. I should put the light back or keep it. Does this hmm. doesn't lead to anything? All right, I'll take it. Wake. Oh no! Wake. No! I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight anybody. There was a container down there, but I doubt there's anything good. I'm leaving. Go, 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 go. Ah! Yeah, when I'm ready to fight, I'll fight. But there is way too many people out there. Ooh. Give me that. Shit! What are you freaking out about? Let's go this way. Okay. Hi. Ooh, through the door. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's save it. Yes, I understand. I'm running past enemies. I'm not really playing the game. But do you guys want me to finish this at any time soon? At any point? Let's, uh... Let's sneak past some enemies if we can. Right? Right. Uh-oh. Oh, I hear Breaker! But I can't get through. Oh, up here! I don't know what that was about. What is this? What did I do to this place? end up a lost soul haunting the streets and alleys a faded out shadow 
glimpsed by some other poor bastard on his way toward the same fate. Your broken dreams become a broken mirror, and the twisted reflection staring back at you with all the pent-up anger, regret, guilt, and shame was the monster you could never get away from. That's very deep. Oh, we got stairs going down this way, too. How do I get to Breaker? I hear him. It's gotta be the way- I have to find him because he's gonna give me the map that has all the treasures on it. So... I gotta figure out where he is. See in here? Hey! I heard ya! How's the memory doing? Sorry, who are you? Kidding. Good to see you, Tim. <laughs> you had me going. <laughs> hey there, Tim. Cozy place you got here. You know, your disappearance from Bright Falls is still the only thing that folks talk about. Well, that and Deerfest. Is this where you ended up back in 2010? You know about that? Well, I am the sheriff of Bright Falls. Well, you were. Or I was. What's it say? Are you related to Sarah Breaker? Deerfest is still a thing? Are you related to Sarah Breaker? She was the sheriff of Bright Falls back in 2010. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's my cousin. I had a police sketch made of Dor based on my dreams. I sent it around and Sarah recognized the face from an old case file from the 80s. I moved out there to look into it and became sheriff after she left to join the feds. Yeah, uh, that girl is from the first game, and we run around with her and, like, pretty much end the game with her. Deerfest is still a thing? So Deerfest is still a thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's bigger than ever. You know, I got zapped here right before it was about to happen. Funny. Me too. Hasn't happened yet. Do you have a file on Door? What was in the case file about Door? Not a lot of details in it. A local man named Warland Dorr went missing near Cauldron Lake. He was a hell of a singer. Witnesses claim he was struck by a bolt of lightning and just vanished. I never found any official records of a Warland Dorr living in town or anywhere. Another dead end. Interesting. That is weird. Alrighty, well let's click on this. And now... We should have some circles. Yes. Uh, it says there's a point of interest in here. Maybe the point of interest just is Breaker? I, I don't know. Um, yeah, we got a bunch of circles. I don't actually know where I'm supposed to go. There's a locked door here. Oh, what's this about? Is this the same stuff? Who, where, why, mode of me? What is this place? I feel like this is all kind of the same stuff that was here before, but this is new. Door went missing in 1988. Age has not aged. Longevity, not human. Alien magic. Uncle Frank would have known more, but he's dead. Not his real name. Hidden meaning. So it's not his real name? Okay. Okay. That's open now. So that's the locked door that, well, was locked. It's not anymore. So if I go up to the right, if I go up here to the right, there should be something for me. Like a word of power or something? Or maybe it's, um... Oh, I'm full. Maybe it's this right here. Return. Oh, here it is. How do I... How do I do this here? 
can't really remember. I'm supposed to be like where the black spot is, right? I could see the Ocean View Hotel. I was getting close. Well, I'm trying to do this echo, but I don't see that black spot that's supposed to align with it. Maybe I'm not in the right spot, but then why would I come here to this one area? Come on. Okay, I took the light. Now let's see what's down here. The lights affected where the door led to. Okay. Can't climb on this. What the hell? Hmm. That's clearly an echo I need to get, and I don't know how. <sighs> I don't understand. Oh no, wait, this is an echo here. So what the fuck is that? Oh my god, this is where- Oh. What the fuck? <sighs> I genuinely don't know where to go. Can I see the weird black spot thing from here? I'm so confused. The fact that I'm gonna have to cut out so much of this because I'm so extremely lost is stupid. <laughs> it has to be something simple. So, only because I have been recording for almost an hour and you probably have seen none of it, <laughs> uh, I'm going to look up how the fuck to get through here because I cannot figure it out and it's really annoying me. <laughs> So, I'll see you in a little bit. Alright, so, I just skipped through somebody's playthrough just to see what they did right around that same spot. And, from what I can see, they lit up the light on both sides of the stairway. I just have to get back up to the stairway. I think is this way. So I think they lit they lit the light on the outside of the stairway and then they went through it and then lit the light again I think. So both lights are lit. Okay. Ooh. Then go here. And then Were these here before? Okay. No, wait. Where the f- Was this here before? Did I do what I set out to do without realizing it? I guess I did. Without even realizing it. I might not even have needed to look that shit up. Okay. <laughs> um, so this circle? Not happening. Not happening. These? I'll find him if I find him. This? Looks like it's right here, so... I just gotta be able to look at that in a certain way, but I should be able to get that one. Like, right here. I dream of calling it quits. 
taking a clean break, retiring, escaping, leaving all this sordid misery and terror behind. Getting in a car and driving till you see the sunrise. Somewhere where the sun still rises. Settling down, buying a house, fixing it up, building a life, finding someone. It's a fool's dream. It would all go bad. And having let hope in, it would be unbearably worse than this. You can take the man out of the city, but you can never take the city out of the man. I think Alex Casey just loves listening to himself talk. Because it is one ear and out the other. I do not care. <laughs> okay. Ooh, okay. I'm full of batteries, apparently. Well, now I can... Okay, well, I just used a battery and I can't even pick one up. Great. Alright, what is this area? Down here. Oh, okay. Lit up this little bar area. The bar menu caught my eye. Bar menu caught your eye. Okay, bar menu. Manhattan, $20. Lake on the Rocks, 2050. Shotgun, 19. Gin twist, old fashioned. Ocean View cocktail, 2550. Okay. He pointed this out for a reason. I don't know why, but there's numbers on it, so we might have to use those at some point, I guess. Alright, let's keep that lit for right now. Just in case I have to come back. What's this say? Try our new Ocean View cocktail. Okay, hold on. And look at this, guys. It's, uh, like the numbers are blurred out right there. Mm hmm. Which means you gotta come over here and look at the Ocean View cocktail 2550. Alright. Taking I could this. Use that <laughs> Taking this light back. 2550. Let's remember that, folks. Aw, oh, here we are. 25.50. Yep, that was easy. Why can't they all be easy? Alright, well we made it an hour later. This place is very red. Well, we're in. I missed the musical part. Anybody miss that part? Oh, here we are, 665. Oh, I got the key. I got the key. The room was empty except for the projector. More games. Great. Was the film a message waiting to be played? Of course it is. Okay. Is there anything else I need to grab before I play this? Oh, there's a whole undiscovered map I haven't found. All right. Let's see. Come on, musical.
What the fuck? Hello? In this temple of shadow and mist, there's a window in the floor and a door in the ceiling. There's no knowing. Am I standing still or running or kneeling? Not the mustache being gone. That's a nightmare in itself. You're the one who's been calling me. <laughs> Indeed. I'm Tom Zane. Tom Welcome Zane. to the house of Zane. The poet. The diver. You look like me. How the hell? Or maybe you look like me, you handsome devil. The diver was a beloved character I played in one of my films. I'm a filmmaker, a celebrated auteur. I need answers. Why is return so important? What? Al, you, you always get worked up like this. Come on, I'll fix you a drink. You and me, Al. We're in this together. Two artists collaborating, remember? Crafting the keys to our escape. Your magnum opus, Return, and its, its companion piece, my film. Sharing our, our life-altering visions, a, a melding of higher minds. Dreaming up our transcendental work of art. Here, in this room. 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 So weird. I need the clicker. <laughs> <laughs> it's return because we return. That is how the magic happened. <sighs> Drugs? Enough of this bullshit. Alice is in danger. I need another murder site to go further. Back to Parliament Tower. Scratches. Your wife is safe back in the real New York. But Scratch is reaching for her through an overlap. Return is the key to escaping the dark place. You need to get it before that freak does. <sighs> There's a murder site here in the hotel. Let the waves of your riding carry you there. <gasps> Hello? They're all yours. If anyone asks, you were never here. Thomas Zane had ended our talk in what felt like a paranoid fit. I had what I needed from him. There was another murder site in the hotel to guide me further toward my escape. I had to write my way to it. What in the fuck? Okay, can I just say, my uh, my pause button is broken on, <laughs> on this controller. <laughs> uh, so I cannot stop it at all. I cannot press it for some stupid reason. Um, but anyway, I was gonna pause it and say that Thomas Zane character is clearly Alan. I mean, he's Alan's face. <laughs> uh, but his voice is actually his real voice because Alan is um, voiced by somebody else. So the actual person who looks like Alan, I forget his name, excuse me, um, the, the character model of Alan is one person and then he had he's voiced by somebody else who is not this guy and um so the person we were just talking to thomas zane that was him i'm pretty sure that was his voice and that was him actually talking and acting and being himself which is really funny um that was interesting <laughs> and then we have an echo out here apparently okay hold on God, this game is so weird. 
word. Whispers from the police radio kept me awake at night. The word through the ether. A murder in the backdrop of a play featuring a murder cult. <laughs> How meta can you get? He said, looking knowingly at the camera. I could sense the cult of the word in this, and their leader, Mr. Scratch. Rumored to be Alan Wake, the writer who'd gone missing years before. The hotel was a perfect setting for a Casey story. I was on the right path. All right. As long as you know that we're on the right path. Because I have no idea what the fuck is I going on. I would start on. at the entrance lobby. I don't know how any of you guys enjoy watching me play this. Because I don't know what the hell is going on ever. Until I, I edit it later. And then like things like I'll start to pick up on some things while I'm editing. But when I'm playing it, I got no fucking clue. The entrance hall set the mood where everyone had come in. The victim, the murderer, the detective. An idea, clear as a vision, waited for me here. Okay, I want to take some health first. Because I'm not healed. Um, I need to get in here because there's an echo. Unless I could stand here. No. I gotta get on the other side of this disc. Ah, here we are. Director of this play? Yeah, that's me. Our performance of the cult was cursed from the pre-show ritual on. The cult is an immersive theatrical experience. Uh huh. You're gonna have to walk me through what that ritual. means. Immersive theater. A play where the audience can participate, spread across this hotel. The cult is a legend. The only written Sorry. <laughs> oh, come on. Is that an enemy? Wake. Jesus Christ. I have to listen. I hate the fact that I can't walk away. Like, I want to explore while they're talking, so. Sorry. So, so you were the immersive theater. A play where the audience can participate, spread across this hotel. The cult is a legend. The only written copy of the manuscript lost, the play is passed on as oral tradition between theater companies. Each company only performs it once. The play was said to have special power. You were like kids playing with a Ouija board. And when you call for the devil, he will come. The pre-show ritual, that's it. Set it up. Start from the beginning. I will. I just wanted to explore a little bit. Alright. Save it. Alright. Got an enemy there. Take the words. Oh my god, there's so many. Shit, shit! I just want to look. I want to look around here before I change the whole scene. Got some painkillers. Why are you coming in here? Okay. Let me just look around for a quick second. See if there's any stuff we could pick up. This is very shining, the way that this is like. I mean, I guess any shower curtain is kind of like the shining. But we're in a hotel, okay? So it's more shining. Okay, and what is this room? I can't go in here. I'm sure that'll open once I change the scene. What's over here? Okay, can't go that way. I didn't have the key. Okay, need a key for that. There's a lot of doors here. Okay. 
The room at the end of the corridor was closed off. It felt significant. Something terrible would happen there. All right. Okay, so some of these doors have symbols on them. Some I can go in, some I can't. All right, let's change the scene. The plot board was empty again. I needed a new draft back at the beginning, but closer to my goal. Entrance hall, pre-show ritual. Okay. Layers upon layers. Everyone is invited to the pre-show ritual. Infiltrated by a real murder cult. The ballroom was where the pre-show ritual was held. Ooh, that was a waste. Okay. Did I already go in this way? Yep, so that's the way out. So let's see what's different with this entrance hall. We got a map. It's a waste of my batteries. Okay. Move, let me in. Okay, he's gone. Alright, that really didn't do anything. Still can't get through here. Let's go over here and change this scene. The troop were busy building their own wicker man, where they themselves would be sacrificed. The prop room had been changed from room 104 to room 225. Move these props from 104 to 225 for later use in the ballroom play. Okay. So... Where's 104? One oh one. Okay, I got a key for this. Creepy ass red room. Bunch of props, I guess, for some play. It just takes me to the save room? What's the point of all that? Oh, okay. Okay, I guess we're going in here. Ah! this room and it also says this room. Okay. 
Oh, we got a TV in here. Don't come in! Ah! I'm scared! Too many fucking enemies. There's still somebody coming in. Like I'm literally out of batteries. Like this is dumb. Close it. I don't have any batteries for this bullshit. I am your host, Orlandor, and I will see you soon. What is this? Is that it? Did I miss it? Apparently I missed it. Okay. What, what What's this way? Since I... It's pointing here. I couldn't add a new element okay. from here. So I can't I change it. have to go it. to the scene. Can't change it from here, but apparently... There's an arrow saying I need to go that way. Well, it's not happening right now. Okay, no more enemies for a second because I'm like almost out of batteries and I don't want to do this anymore. Please. Giving me a battery does not make me feel any better. Uh. What do we got? Okay. Grenades or something. Okay, I'm full. Okay. Okay. What's the point of this room, folks? What is the point? Is there something I'm missing in here? Three, two twenty-four, and then when I come into this room, there's an arrow going this way. Do I shoot this? Oh. Okay. Uh. What? What's the point, though? I don't see anything in here. Huh? What the fuck was that about? Why the hell did I waste... a fucking bullet coming in here? Find the murder site at the hotel. Figure out what happened in the ballroom. I don't know what the hell that was about. Where's the ballroom? This way? Locked. Get out of my face. Another room?
Can I close this? Way too many enemies in this chapter. In another fucking bathroom I don't care about. There's not one thing in any of these bathrooms! I'm getting frustrated. Oh, my goodness. It was locked from the other side. Okay, the only thing I see here is that there's caution tape here. So maybe that's the crime I'm supposed to be finding? That's locked too, though. I need way more batteries. I really hope I find some. 209. Okay, I unlock that from the other side. Right, it's 215. Where's 209? 203. Breaker! Are you staying here? This game is like a bad dream, I swear to God. Hey Tim, new map, huh? Yep. Look, I've never been to New York, but I can tell you that this ain't it. <sighs> this game makes me want to drink. I heard you humming again. Uh-huh. Yeah, I I can't get this song out of my head. It's a real earworm. I heard it in my dreams. I know the song you're humming. I know that song you keep humming. It's the theme from Night Springs. That old sci-fi show? Sci-fi horror anthology. I used to write for a long time ago. Look, it sounds a bit nuts, but I think the song is connected to Door. Or... It's my subconscious telling me that this is all pretty out there. You're pretty out there. So I don't even know what I've read and what I haven't read. Red-headed woman connected to door. I know her. Where do I know her from? Her identity changes connected to polyhedrons. Will she come for me? Or she will come for me. Whatever. Which I think I've read that part too. Okay. Take that. This place is huge. Man, there's a lot of shit in here. And the ballroom is there. Yeah, I don't know, guys. I don't know if this is gonna be the playthrough where we find everything. I mean, we already knew it wasn't. <laughs> but uh, I don't know if this episode is gonna be the episode where we find everything. Because I've been recording for a while. And uh, I feel like we really haven't made all that much progress, and I'm actually a little disappointed in myself. <laughs> it sucks. So this is this is the ballroom. If I look back at the map and I go up straight this way, there is a secret up this way. in like a stairwell oh okay so I can't get in here yet as far as I can see so all right maybe we'll try to do that after the ballroom all right let's let's go in here The ballroom would be the stage of a key scene in the play. Key? 101 key.
This just feels like The Shining, especially now that we're in like a ballroom area. And there's just weird shit going on that probably isn't real. I just wish Ati was singing to me. That would just comfort me so much. <laughs> I would love that. Okay, ballroom. Place of celebration, but gone, twisted, and dark. I don't like this. This isn't comforting at all! The cult in the play was called the Cult of the Tree. With their deer masks, they were the backwoods echo of the cult of the words urban horror. Uh-huh. anything I'm supposed to take from this or that's all hmm. I found a key to 101 so maybe I'll do that next was it 101 or was it 201 no, that's blocked off, so it's gotta be 101. 225? 101? So, so, so this is must be floor two, because there's only two. Elevators are this way. This room. Oh. Okay, I changed it. Two oh two. This is where they gathered before the play. This is where it began. Okay, can we talk about what the fuck play is this? I'm sorry, I don't mean to be vulgar, but <laughs> what is this? Who signed me up for this? Weird ass play. Why this hotel? Because the rent is cheap? No. The ocean view was perfect for this. It's said to be haunted. Dark stories about murder, death, suicide. Supposedly, an actual cult once performed an unspeakable ritual to summon something in the ballroom. Did we summon the same thing? tapped into something horrifying and it seemed like it was part of the play but it wasn't does that sound crazy you don't want to ask me about crazy kid a haunted hotel yes that's a trope for a reason okay no plot board haunted I don't really want to do the haunted idea. <laughs> like, I don't need it. What is this? I don't need it. Open that. See, I don't need it. This just reminds me of, like, the ring. Do you guys remember the ring? The little kid would just, like, scribble circles over and over. Like, that's what that reminds me of. 
Wake. What? Just leave me alone. I don't want to fight anymore. I don't want to do this. I want this to just make sense. I just want some sense making. Is that all right? Why do you disappear? Oh, I'm back in the damn room again. <laughs> okay. Alright, I need to go back. Where do I need to go? Oh, so come on here. Alright, the entrance room, the ballroom. Whatever that third room was. The final scene. Wake. Wake. So, not this. Okay, that's the rehearsal room. That's Breaker's room. Ballroom. Okay. Let's try the haunted idea on the ballroom. I recognized my writer's room on the stage. I almost dreaded the ideas this would conjure up. I said you got here. What was the scene in this room? Well, this is what we call the writer's room. In the play, it's where the devil rewrites reality whilst God is asleep. The devil? The devil was our star role. I got a big time celebrity to play him, and he was method acting the role to perfection. He never broke character, always wore the coat mask. His name was scratched out on the posters. Mm hmm And who was this mystery celebrity? Let me guess. Alan Wake? I wish I could tell you. But turns out there were masks upon masks. Whoever he really was? Shit got weird when he was around. Some of the crew joked that we'd actually hired the devil to play himself. Mm, Mr. Scratch is the devil. He was born to play the role. I had to agree with Casey Devil. on that. Oh, wait. You see that? Hold on. There's an arrow right here. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's blood everywhere! I gotta get out of here. Do you have anything to say about this? Weirdo. God, when they say a murder happened here, they weren't fucking kidding. Alright, what? Where do I go? Follow the devil's trail.
It's gotta be it, right? Is there a body in here? Is this the devil's trail? Does the Devil's Trail lead? It looks like it leads right here. Into the save room. Am I wrong? Is there something I need to change? No. And then this room, there's no blood in here, so I can't imagine the trail is this way. this way and then it stops here but I got a key to 101 so maybe I guess I'm going the right way There's some parts of this game that really hit the mark, you know? And then there's other parts of this game. Is this a stripper pole? And then there's other parts of this game that I just feel like are very unnecessary, you know? Like, this could have been a little, like, scary area, but, um, not so, like, fully fledged out like this and long. Like, I feel like it could have been way shorter. Can I get that? Thank you. Because now that I made it to room 101, now what? <sighs> now what? Okay, I'm in the entrance hall. Maybe I have to, uh... Not that. Change that. So I can... This was the devil's path up the okay. staircase was draped in Ooh. blood. Okay, yeah. So I have to keep changing it so that I can keep following the devil's path. I see. I see. I see. It's starting to make sense. Where the fuck am I? Oh, I'm down here. There's an investigation here. used a flare on some random fucking person, man. I'm having a great time. Are you having a great time? 
When it gets to a point that I've been recording for almost two hours. It just gets a little frustrating. I'm gonna have to do it. I'm gonna have to like dodge into this room to kill these people. Ah! Get me in this room. I hate this. <laughs> Get me out of here, bud. Get me out of here. I'm over it. Okay. Now I'm stuck. Follow the devil's trail where? Okay, I'm here. Here's this- oh, this way. This way, let's go. Because I'm almost out of batteries and I can't do this anymore. I felt the presence of a new idea here. Yeah, elevator. That's a great idea. Oh my god, go down the stairs. Any slower, Alan. Mr. Scratch, if that's who the actor playing the devil was, had stayed in the hotel. Asking around at reception got me a room number. Hmm. 666. He had requested that room, specifically. The devil had a sense of humor. Or he really didn't. It was funny either way. According to the director, the actor hadn't mingled with the rest of the cast. He had only come out for the play. And always in character. Well, I did learn one thing today while playing. It's that you don't walk away from echoes because you will have to repeat them over and over until you listen to the full thing. So... We've learned something. Okay. The trail is going this way. This whole place just looks the same. Except for this room. What's over here? Ugh, man! Room 666? This is disgusting. Oh, I can't even get in this door. Scratch had been here. I could sense his presence lingering in the room. I don't like this room. I was about to have another killer idea. Where's the fucking the black ball? Ooh! What is going on? Oh my god, what did I fucking walk into? Here it is. Okay, okay. let's talk about the murder victim. The lady who was killed in the climax of the play. The leading lady. Oh, it was an honor to get to work with her. A grand dame for sure. She went back a long time. Kept insisting she had seen the long lost original script of the play. She'd been with this mysterious writer, his muse. That was her role in the play. The muse. She was staying in room 108. 
where the murder happened. The set of the final scene, right. The devil comes, an unstoppable force crashing through the hotel through each scene, executed with devastating mastery. And all leading up to him, meeting his muse. It turns out he knew her. He had only joined the play to get to her. To murder her. Not you or him. Oh shit! Hey, get me through the door! Go, 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 go. Oh, not that way. Clearly. Shit. I thought they were opening the door for me. Get away! dark presence had come for me uh -huh. drawn to the story i was writing as it grew darker great can i just say something very quickly and i can't pause it because my stupid pause button is broken but that just gave me ptsd <laughs> not that scene but before that when the two guys were talking about like he's like she was the muse to the play the muse do you guys know what a muse is it's like inspiration the reason that you created this piece of art and uh the muse when i was in i think it was the sixth grade or maybe it was the fifth grade i want to say it was the sixth grade i was in a play it was the first play i've ever been in and i've been in a bunch of plays since then but i'm surprised that i ever ever was in another play after that but it was called The Muse or Find the Muse. I can't really remember. And I'm just thinking back to when I was in sixth grade and whatever fucking wonky ass director was like, let's do this obscure play. Not Peter Pan, not Beauty and the Beast. Let's do The Muse. And let's give this to a bunch of sixth graders who have no idea what a muse is. And then dress them in khaki pants. And then have them stand in the aisles of the, the audience in the beginning of the play. I had to stand there in my khaki pants with all of my introvertedness and anxiety in the audience of people. And when the play starts and the curtain rises, all of us in the audience have to go, where's the muse? Have you seen the muse? And we had to ask the people in the audience, like it was like a part of the show, like, hey, have you seen the muse? Do you know where the muse is? Do you know how much secondhand embarrassment I have just thinking about that? That I had to <laughs> randomly speak to people in the audience that did not want to speak to me. That's for sure. And I'm a kid. I'm like, how old are you in the sixth grade? I don't actually know. 11? <laughs> I'm like 11 years old. <laughs> And I'm like, have you seen the muse? Where, where's the muse? I didn't even know what the fuck a muse was. I didn't care. This play was stupid. And I regret it. But anyway, that was the first play I was ever in. Fun fact for everybody. <laughs> that is the reason that I have trauma to this day. Anyway. The muse was the murder victim. <laughs> Yeah. The final scene took place in room 108. Not the muse! Get me out of here! Oh, God. I am so sick of fighting these people. I'm out of batteries. Where am I going? If I investigate room 108? The fuck is room 108? That's not even where I am, is it? Oh. Wait, where is it? Where's 101? 108. Go out of here. Take a right. Go left. Out of here. 
Take a right. Ah! Get off of me! Go left. Uh huh, uh huh. This way. This way, I think. I needed to find the muse, the murder victim, room 108. Have you seen the muse? Where's the muse? Get me! Where's this room 101 again? Bro, where where am I? How did Can anybody tell me how the fuck I got into room 101? <laughs> I've been recording for way too long and I feel like I'm like actually going insane. <laughs> I don't know if this is a super long video for you or if I'm skipping all of this and you're just like skipping to the good shit. I have no idea. But um, when I start talking about the sixth grade, that's when you know that I've had it. That I have fucking had it. Okay. Clearly, I can't go this way. Oh, wait, I have to get to the end of this hallway and then change it. How did I get over here? I must have made a whole loop. And there's a guy waiting for me. Bro. Get away from me. Bullshit. All right. This is this is where I have to be. Now I need to change this to the devil. No, no, the climax, the climax. Change it. The scene changed with the story. The climax. Okay, okay. 108, here we are. Excuse me, what's that say? The drowned lady? Oh, this place is flooded. Is that old gods of Asgard? Okay. Lost on the shore between the forest and the ocean, the owl and the deer reflected in the motion. In his room, he will hurt her. In hers, he is caught. His story ends, her story does not. This is the ritual to lead you on. Your friends will meet him when you are gone. Oh, is there gonna be a lady in this fucking bathtub? This was the <gasps> other side. There was a record at the bottom of the bathtub, beneath the body. Ew. Another step. Somehow I was closer to home, closer than ever before. It's you again, the FBI agent, Saga Anderson. I'm closer now. I can feel it. You help me get closer to escaping. Baby. Are we all right? still trapped? We have the clicker. We can feel it. You know about the clicker. It can help us. I destroyed the dark presence with it last time. You can help. You can find it. You must find it. I can get it to you. I have to understand. Did you write the story? Alice is in danger. I have to stop Scratch. I have to find Return. I need to get back to my apartment. I'm writing a story to get through. Initiation. It's the only way. It's a story. You can do that. You can write out. This is terrible communication. It lasted only for a moment. Like two planets passing in orbit. Saga Anderson was helping me. Kinda. Helping me go deeper. Closer to escape. Somehow. I had to trust her. Parliament Tower. I had to get back to my apartment. My study. I had to find the manuscript of her turn. Okay. Well, that was...
was the end of the chapter. I need to get to a save spot. Because... I don't want to fucking have to do all that again. Final scene, climax. Oh, come on, guys. There we go. Save it. Alright, so, that was a super long chapter for me. I recorded for two hours and eight minutes. <laughs> now, whether you saw that full two hours or not, I really hope you didn't. I hope that I figured out a way to cut some of it down so that you did not have to sit there and watch me struggle for two hours. But if you did, thanks for sticking around. I feel like that was a really good chapter and it was creepy. I liked the uh, the scenery. I think it was just like a really interesting area to be in. Um, but I also don't think it added any to anything to the story at all. <laughs> um, I mean, I guess it did because we got to meet Tom Zane, whoever the fuck that is, that zany character. Um, we got to meet him and do some drugs with him or whatever that was. And really, I th that's about it. I didn't get much out of that. And maybe if there's like a bigger, deeper meaning to all of this and like this whole play that's going on and this whole thing, if you could let me know in the comments what the fuck just happened, please let me know <laughs> because <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.